Dear student, my name is Dr. Srinivas Goli. I am a faculty at Jawaharlal Nehru University. Under UGC MHRD e Pathashala program, we are dealing a paper on population structure and characteristics. Under this paper, today I will present a module on women and environment. We know women and environment have a special relationship. A number of literature have emphasized the women's close relationship with the environment and there is environmental management is much better compared to men. With this perspective, it is important to learn in, de in detail the relationship between women and environment. However, before going into the relationship between women and environment, we need to know the concept and definition of the eco-feminism because this is the basic concept which explains the, the relationship between women and environment. The concept of eco-feminism is a movement against the integrated oppression of gender, race and class in nature. The term ecofeminism was the first used by a French feminist, Frank Weiss, in 1974 and gained currency in popular activism and movements of third wave feminism against environmental degradation and ecological disaster. The conference held its unrest, particularly on women and life on earth, which emphasized on ecofeminism in the 80s which tells that the first in, in a series of ecofeminist conferences inspiring the growth of feminist organization to actions on ecofeminist activities. Ecofeminism is an activist and academic movement that sees, sees ecofeminism is an activist and academic movement that sees critical connection between the domination of nature and the exploitation of women. Ecofeminist activism grew during the 80s and 90s among women from anti-nuclear environmental and lesbian feminist movements. According to Mello, ecofeminism is a movement that sees the connection between the exploitation and degradation of natural world and the subordination and oppression of women. It emerged in the mid-1970s mid alongside the second wave feminism and the green movement. Ecofeminism brings together elements of feminist and green movements while it is at the same time offering a challenge to both. It takes from the green movement a concern about impact of human activities on the non-human world and from feminism the view of humanity as generated in a ways that subordinate exploit oppress the women from introduction to feminist ecology. Violence against women and nature are seen as a simultaneous process. We see the devastation of the earth and her being by the corporate barriers and the threat of nuclear annihilation by the military barriers as a feminist concerns. Whenever women acted against ecological destructions and the threat of an autonomic annihilation, they immediately become aware of the connection between the patriarchal violence against women and the people and nature. And that in defying the, this patriarchy, we are loyal to future generations, to the life and planet itself, as said by Vandana Shiva and Mayas in, eco, in the ecofeminism. There are different branches of ecofeminism movements. First, the liberal ecofeminism movement. Liberal ecofeminism believes that environmental degradation and problems are consequences of women's exclusion from environmental management. Liberal ecofeminist, ecofeminist hold the view that environmental problem result from the overutilization, control and manipulation of natural resources for the self-interest of men. Women being connected with the nature can contribute to greater deal of to environmental solution. So women being connected with the nature can contribute a great deal to environmental solutions. The other wave of 
eco feminism is social feminist eco feminism social eco feminism is based on analysis of capitalist capitalistic patriarchy social eco feminist believe in that the patriarchal relations are reasons for women's oppression by men and capitalist relations of production are the social waves production social waves which can help towards ecological transformation it argues that production in the capitalist society must be regulated for production and consumption is an answer to growing social eco feminism suggests the social ways which can help towards ecological transformation it argues that production in the capitalist society must be regulated for protection and conservation of earth resources sustainable production and consumption is an answer to growing problem of capitalism and globalization within the capitalist economy both nature and women are treated as a commodities and exploited for the profit maximization therefore the socialist eco feminism argues that there is a need to maintain a balance between human production and reproduction and nature of production and reproduction the main aim of the socialist socialist eco feminist is to advocate for the making production industrial capitalism subordinates to production and ecology that is justice for women and nature then another wave of feminism is the radical feminism radical eco feminism radical eco feminism supports the view that the within the patriarchy society women and nature are seen as objects and oppressed by men for the benefits of cheap labor and resources it advocates that patriarchy is central to women's exploitation due to the believed association of nature and women another form is cultural eco feminism based on the view that men and women are mutually connected and that this relationship has been ignored for long in the western culture cultural eco feminism supports the association of nature and women they believe that women have more close relationship with the nature due to their gender based roles motherhood nurturing caring and cooking etc and biological characteristics menstruation pregnancy childbirth and lactation women participation in the environmental movements in india especially we can be referred to chipko movement chipko movement an early eco feminist movement started in india was in dates back to 1970s aimed at protecting conserving the trees and forest this movement was a landmark in india as a woman for the first time stood in solidarity and took bold step for environmental protection chipko movement was based on the gandhian philosophy of satyagraha and non violent resistance the movement marked its beginning in 20th century in village of any village of rajasthan led by amrita devi who, who along with other 84 villagers lost her life against the order of a wood cutting by a local maharaja before sacrificing her life amrita said sher saathi ruk raha hai to bhi sansthan it is all still a negligible price to pay if the cost of my head the tree is saved so it tells that she says that it is still a negligible price to pay if at the cost of my head the trees are saved the movement was later revived by bachni devi and gaura devi of uttar pradesh in 1974 this is one the figure how women used to protect the trees at the cost of their own lives some of the important chipko activists the most influential activists in the chipko movement include gaura devi sudeshana sudesha devi chandi prasad bhat sundarlal bhaguna dhum singh neji samshir singh bist and gansam raturi another important movement in the eco feminist movements are there is narmada bachao andolan a social movement carried out by tribals activist and environmentalist against the construction of dam projects across the narmada river which passes from madhya pradesh gujarat and maharashtra the protest were against the construction of sardar sarovaram dam in gujarat for the purpose of irrigation electricity provision in the village during the construction of the dam 
the local villagers were not consulted rather they were directly given offer for rehabilitation the dam project a multi crore project received funding from the world bank and would have to displace 3 lakh 20000 people the leading activists of the movement include medha patekar amba baba hamte patekar medha patekar played a crucial role in the movement through longer long hunger strike and satyagrahas she protested against the poor information and concerns given to villagers who were going to be affected with the construction of large dam she demanded the world's bank world bank to conduct review of the project she demanded the world bank to conduct the review of the project the famous slogan of narmada bachao andolan include vikas chahiye vinash nahi development if in english development wanted not destruction koi nahi hatega bandh nahi banega in english we won't move the dam won't constructed this is some of the rallies you know, which happened in gujarat kandwa uh, under narmada bachao andolan in 2008 it's a huge population which are turn out for the the in opposition to the dam construction and to save the millions of people there is also film documented on narmada bachao sangharsh narmada a valley rises by ali kajmi a narmada diary by anand patwardhan is also documented which made on this particular moment the construction of sardar sarovar and dam began again in 1919 after the construction was allowed by the government and it was completed in 2006 narmada bachao andolan was joined by many civil initiatives civilian initiatives and notable personalities such as arundhati rai winner of brooker prize and amir khan a popular bollywood actor nitish kumar bihar cm who protested against the displacement of people due to dam construction and demanded fair rehabilitation compensation policy for the displaced population the another important movement navya dhanya movement a environmental movement aimed to preserve the diversity and integrity of living resources particularly the crop diversity it was led by environmental activist dr vandana shiva the founding director of navya dhanya a ecological project started in 1982 navya dhanya movement basically aimed at promoting organic and ecological agriculture and fair trade it is about the conservation of native indigenous and rare seeds and is widely known as bija satyagraha and bija hara anna swaraj it is a call to organic and ecological india without the use of fertilizers and preservations in farming processing and preservation of food navya dhanya movement is based on organic culture this is the the people who are behind this movement and the picture is from balso odisha where vandana shiva is standing with the other colleagues vandana shiva strategy for ecological conservation was based on substance farming when a farmer grows food to meet their own needs and trades only a small amount of crop for meeting the needs shiva was against the green revolution which is considered was a, a us based agricultural imperialism in the third world she was against the monocultural farming where the farmers grow single crop cash crop over a large area for a purpose of fulfilling global food trade inspired by green revolution for example this growing potatoes in india which would end up as a french fries in mcdonalds in the detroit michigan that's what her opposition founding members of the women's environment and development organization in 1990 an organization which works for the gender equality integrity and environment and sustainable development political approach to ecofeminism won her the title of environmental hero by the time magazine in 2013 the most influential works of dr shiva include ecofeminism 1993 stolen harvest the hijacking of global food supply 2000 soil not oil making peace with earth the so on earth democracy justice and sustainability in peace 
violence of the green revolution third world agriculture ecology in politics in 2016 environmental degradation and its effects on women are immense women girls make up more than half of the world population they are on the front line of more deeply impacted than men and boys by poverty climate change food insecurity lack of health care and global economic crisis their contribution and leadership are the central to finding a solution women and sdgs especially as ex as explained by un women link provide a link to the relationship between women and environment women in natural disaster for example gender and other inequalities result in different experiences of natural disaster and different social groups women and children experience immediate effort aftermath of disasters in severe way they are the most vulnerable groups who have limited access to protection of mechanisms women are more affected from such climate related disasters as they are involved in agriculture and allied activities women vulnerability to natural disaster is immense the impact on women on and environmental degradation includes environmental degradation includes homelessness gender based violence unwanted pregnancy std maternal mortality poor access to humanitarian uh, support and provision food insecurity poor access to water hygiene and sanitation workload increase unemployment lost earning and livelihood poor health well being sexual and reproductive health problems during pregnancy and motherhood child death due to poor nutrition and infection you may thinking that how these all are related to uh, women and environmental issues because once any environmental disturbances whether it is a drought or flood or or heavy rains or loss of food crops climate change all these are or some have brings certain kind of problems where the women becomes the first vulnerable population to face them as a managers of the household particularly because still women takes lot of responsibility to in managing the household so she is more risks and vulnerabilities associated to environmental degradation or the problems associated with environment therefore see the it affects our day to day uh, activities and our, our basic activities like even our rearing children or providing food to the family members or of procuring water and also maintaining hygiene and sanitation in the households if there is a water scarcity the women has to bring water from a long distance and to, uh, and provide water to all the household members becomes our responsibility so if any change in the availability of water accessibility of water women face a big problem suppose there is a shortage of food supply and shortage there is food insecurity in household women are the first people to affect because of that because these are people who eat at the last who do prepare the food and eat at the last this is still a reality in many developing countries and even homelessness also creates a lot of problem for women for our their security the any environmental distress or which creates a financial problem at the households or which creates any other disturbances in the household which limit leads to gender based violences like this women has to face every, every obstacles which comes into the households or in the society women has to bear more consequences than men it is also true with the environmental disturbances or environmental degradation climate change or uh, any other environmental issues what then what are the in- interventions to women during the natural disasters like how do you ensure the uh, to protect women from this acted there are different ways to be developed to ensure equitable humanitarian interventions to women during the natural disasters the following ways can work in the direction ensure women access to climate change intervention ensure intra household resources and control over the available resources create post disaster livelihood opportunities for women provide voice to women and girls for planning and policies and interventions against vulnerable degradation 
Consider the intersectional inequalities within the group of women meet the needs of women of all ages, ability, region and so on. Provide a safety and security in disaster relief camps. Ensure empowerment of women from passive to victim agent to change. From passive agent to agent of change. Women's role in environmental management is immense. Women's role in environmental management includes women have vital role in environmental management development. Their full participation is therefore essential to achieve sustainable development. The fact that women are the most adversely affected by environmental problems makes them better qualified as an experts on such conditions and therefore places them in a position of epistemological privileges. That is, women have more knowledge about the earth system than men. Women's capacity building and environmental protection is essential. Focus areas to develop women's capacity to contribute towards the environmental protection and conservation is important. Capacity building, develop women's leadership skills is very important. Knowledge development, developing women's specialized knowledge and awareness of ecosystem and natural resources also critical. Building resilience is particularly developing awareness and skills for prevention, protection and recovering from the natural disaster, develop community response, capacity for warning is signals is also important. Developing technological skills, development of appropriate, safe and sustainable technology for sustainable production and consumption is important. So, arranging social safety nets, redistribution of unpaid domestic and care work, availability and access to safe water, hygiene and sanitation is also helps women to know uh, from the affecting from the vulnerability and risk created by this shortage of these resources. Health and well-being, investment in women and girls health and well-being and food, providing food security will help women in terms of environmental crisis and disasters. Gender responsive policies are very important. Actions to reduce the risk and impacts of disasters on women. Gender justice and equality for sustainable development all important. The sustainable development are going in the direction of building a relationship between uh, the healthy relationship between the women and environment. All the 17 sustainable goals have certain components of uh, bringing women more closer to environment and making them more actively take participation in the uh, environmental management. Thank you.